Pastors Eric and Candace Johnson of Bethel Church saying their goodbyes to the congregation as they move on. But what is the real reason that they're stepping down? They've been really hush about it. We're going to get into the details. Before I go any further, guys, if you enjoy the daily content I put out here on YouTube, you would like to help support my channel and ministry, I recommend you sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description right now gets you access to all the bonus content. Soon could be all the content. The way things are going now, I'm getting hit with all kinds of warnings. There's no telling how lo much longer I could be here. If you guys want to not only help support what I do, but also make sure you keep getting my content. If I disappear off this platform, I recommend you sign up. Please also like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So this past Sunday, Bethel Church in Redding, California, they said their goodbyes to both Eric and Candace Johnson. They even sent out an email to the congregation on Monday talking about how wonderful it's been serving them, being their senior pastors for the past 10 years. They've been with Bethel doing ministry work for over 18 years. Now, at the time when this came out, uh, it was right around Thanksgiving, actually right before Thanksgiving, that they were going to be leaving. You know, Bill Johnson, the senior leader of, and there's enough, to, Bill Johnson, I could do a whole separate video on him. He said, oh, this has nothing to do with moral failure, nothing to do with that or any other sort of, you know, scandalous, whatever thing you could think of at all. And as they're getting ready to say their goodbyes here, again, they're saying, they're, they're not even announcing any plans. They're just saying, we're going to take a sabbatical and just see what happens next. So they're not saying whether they're going to another church or anything like that, just that they're going to just kind of just take some time that it's been a year of shaking look let's just face the facts here bethel church has had so much controversy around them okay the whole weird golden feathers thing and the you know they're these people literally and i i hate to even say it but it's like you know they had the whole thing with one of the worship leaders their daughter it happened like a year ago she sadly had passed away she had been dead for days and they had prayed and believed that she would be you know god would raise her it didn't happen um it, all kinds of weird stuff coming out of that situation there you know just the, the other ministers that they've had that have joked about how all oh, the angels in heaven are just they're you know they're dumb they sit around the altar of god texting on their phones and farting in the presence of god. Yeah, these mega churches i i don't want nothing to do with the mega church let me just tell you that but look look Let's talk about Hillsong Church. What have we seen lately with Hillsong? It's been a complete and total just, just takedown. God is exposing all the dirt on Hillsong. These mega church pastors are going down. They're either being fired or they're resigning. It started with Carl Lentz at Hillsong. And now it led to other pastors at Hillsong resigning. You had the Bogards resigning in uh, the Hillsong Church over in Texas. Because they got caught up in this too. And now these Bethel pastors here, Eric and Candace Johnson. Look, if Bill Johnson knew something was going on with them and he wanted to get rid of them before the information got out, well, then he knew. That's why he did it. I would not be surprised if something similar happened at Bethel like what happened at Hillsong. Because you just can't trust these mega churches at all. So God exposing things, wanting to flush out these, you know, the churches with, you know, look, Trump talked about draining the swamp. You got to do the same thing in these churches. You got to do the exact same thing. There's a lot of phonies in there right now. A lot of them, they try to get out of there before they can get caught, before they can get busted with whatever they're doing. And other times, you know what? They're fired. So either way, these mega churches need to be cleansed, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of dirt in there. There is a lot of dirt. As far as Eric and Candace go, look, it's going to come out. We know that it will. The truth will come out about what the real reason is that they left here. And I think, like I said, I already know based off what's happening here with Hillsong. I think it's just almost like a virus. It's spreading to all these mega churches right now. Those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? You can let me know down below in the comment section. I know I've had people that have told me they've attended Bethel Church and, and told me about the weird things that go on there. So let me know down below. I'll put some more information for you in the description Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.